The City of Sterling Heights has always recognized the importance of property maintenance. As a result, the City Code Enforcement Program, known as SHINE, the Sterling Heights Initiative for Neighborhood Excellence, seeks to enhance the health, safety, and welfare of our residents through proactive and reactive City Code Enforcement. Inspectors do this by being out in the community daily, focusing on fair and balanced customer service while respecting the property rights of all citizens. Over the past two years, many changes have been implemented to the program. We have put into operation an efficient new software program. Data entry and collection is easier and far more accurate. Our inspectors use iPads in the field, spending more time in the field and less time in the office. All written communications from code enforcement to the public have been revised and simplified. The Ordinance Board of Appeals not only meets every other Monday, but a second board was added that meets once a month on Wednesdays. Door hangers are also used to better communicate with residents. A fee structure has been implemented, and those who do not comply in a timely manner are subject to inspection and Ordinance Board charges. The fee structure is working, as the number of repeat offenders is less than 7%. Last fiscal year, Code Enforcement worked almost 9,000 Code Enforcement cases and performed over 16,500 inspections. Also new last year, DPW started removing rock, dead vegetation, and debris from poorly maintained cul-de-sac islands throughout the city. Last year, over 20 cul-de-sacs were rehabilitated, and that program will continue again this year. We have also just completed the first cycle of our non-homestead, single-family, exterior inspection program. This new program requires that non-homesteads, which are typically rental properties, be inspected every other year to ensure that they are maintained to city standards. Approximately 1,490 non-homestead inspections were performed this cycle. New this fall was enforcement of an amendment to the zoning ordinance regulating real estate signs. The amendment requires that signs comply with current design and construction standards, have decorative post caps and supporting framework painted a uniform color. Since enforcement started in October of 2014, 156 signs have been brought into compliance. The city continues to seek ways to evolve and better meet the needs of the community. New this year, attempting to start spring with a bang, City Council will be asked to support a resolution designating May as Shine Month. Activities will actually begin on April 25th with a city-sponsored electronic recycling day. Old televisions, computers, and other electronic items can be dropped at the Department of Public Works building on 18 Mile Road from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. That event will be followed by the Spring 2015 Pride and Shine Day on Saturday, May 2nd, encouraging residents to make their properties shine in preparation for the summer months. Then, Shred Day is May 9th, also at the Department of Public Works. Shred Legal will be donating their time and trucks as a community service from 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. to shred documents at no charge. Shredding will be conducted on site for complete security and the shredded materials will be recycled. A new initiative this year, the city will be hosting special neighborhood cleanup days on each Saturday in May. Residents can dispose of odd junk and other materials that may otherwise not get picked up on a normal collection day. We are also working on a new project that City Council will see later this summer regarding an update to the city's residential landscaping regulations and firewood storage regulations. As you can see, while many significant and successful enhancements have been implemented to the Shine Property Maintenance Program, we continue to seek out ways to create a vibrant, inclusive community for residents and businesses that is safe, active, progressive, and distinctive.